Sometimes I want to. I just want to like hammer fist this guy on the top of his head. He does repeatedly. Really? He wants to. Yeah. Ooh, you ever get you make that? Me so angry. You ever oh. look at JJ and just get that urge to do it too? Oh, mm. you make the big bean so angry. When he's being a jerk. Yeah. Man, you sit upright. Like, like when he looked at you and he said, I regret to have to inform yeah. you. <laughs> that you're a retard. Oh, can't oh. say that. Oh, yes, we can. On this on this show, we can say the word PC retard. <laughs> okay, welcome back to another episode of Insightful Buffoonery. Today is August 31st. Um, we're actually shooting this pretty early. Richard, you got up pretty early. Pretty early. And, and thank <coughs> you for being another special guest with us. Oh, no problem. Nothing although, else to do. Although he did say uh, film time was going to be around 9. He said he was going to be here at 8.30. Right. Didn't show up till 9.30. Well, our, our roadie used to be pretty good at his job, but uh, well, he, he's Well, what does the roadie have to down? do with Our roadie was still asleep when you got here. Oh. Uh, yeah. It was great. the roadie was being very diligent yesterday in, in, his, uh, in his work. He, he, so I think you took out more than you put away. Oh, you yeah. think so? Yeah, yeah, what do you think? Okay. Yeah, if you look out there, there's still <laughs> shit scattered everywhere. Yeah, okay, you turn the camera and see. Look at well, the yard, it looks like Sanford and Son. <laughs> oh, not quite that bad. But again, today is August 31st. It is quite early in the morning. Richard's having his morning coffee. Although moving that fridge there was a good idea. That moving that fridge was a very fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. um, the weather today was slightly rainy, but now it cleared up. Quite the sunny day. Nice and cool. Nice and cool outside. Like August it. is now at an end. Going mm -hmm. into September, summer, Richard. Summer's over. Summer is just uh, about over, right, yet. Richard? Summer's yeah, over. If it the is. state fair was going on right now, Richard, next week would be the last week. Yep. Right? Yep. You're right. I used to know it was the uh, end of summer when they used to have the Jerry Lewis telethon. Right, right. The damn Labor Day. That kind of indicated. <laughs> it's time it's, to go back to school. It's time to go back <laughs> to school with the Jerry <laughs> yeah, Lewis telethon. Yeah. They don't do that no more, do they? No. Jeez. They still collect with that fireman still collects with their boot, though. Oh, do they? Yeah, I still see them out there. Mm. Josh, do you remember the Jerry Lewis telethon? <clears throat> Who's he used that? To be... He used okay. to help people like you. <laughs> <laughs> well. Like your brother. <laughs> he sounds like a swell guy. <laughs> he was quite the swell guy. Actually, Jerry Lewis was is quite big <clears throat> in France. They, they really look upon Jerry Lewis movies. Really? He's a comedian genius hmm. over there in Europe. Never yeah. heard of him. But here he does <clears throat> muscular dystrophy. Here he, he helped disable young children. With big necks. Yes. <laughs> He's, I think, I believe he is the one that started the Jerry Lewis and telethon. Middle aged men with bird chests? <laughs> huh? Does he help them? <laughs> Middle aged okay. men with okay. a bird chest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that, is that a new thing going on? Uh, what is that thing going on? It's sweeping the nation. Hey, it's sweeping the nation. Yeah. Is, that, is that some yeah. sweeping trailer parks yeah. in the outer rims of suburban areas? Yeah. It's kind of. Uh, yeah. yeah. Over yeah. in the Invergrove Heights area. Over in the Invergrove. <clears throat> the mm -hmm. outer of Champlin and, and things like uh, that. But getting back to Jerry Little, he used to raise a lot of money, though. He did. He raised quite a, a bit of money. It was, it was like a 24-hour telethon. It huh? was a, it was a 20. And then he had a lot of big stars. Yeah. People that donated their time. I bet you those people then donated their time better than the people today, which do it for more of the publicity, where then they just did it to do it, you know? Because we didn't really have social media, because it wasn't like plastered in all the papers like Bob Hope did this and blah, blah, blah. You know, um, Wayne Newton showed up and juggled with three monkeys and. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now today, it's so plastered over the internet. People are like, oh, so-and-so did this, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Helped a, help the homeless dog. And yeah, but do you think Jerry was like, probably like a Harvey Weinstein before they even Me Too came out? I don't, I don't, don't see my, his, I don't know. His, his, cool. his, cool. his name is Jerry, and <laughs> Jerry's, uh, <laughs> <It's possible. laughs> Jerry's are known to be quite the creeps that uh, <laughs> impersonate impersonate their nephews. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry's are known for impersonating their, their young, <laughs> their young nephews. <laughs> but Funny. how would he impersonate? Oh, I don't can't imagine how Jerry Lewis would impersonate anybody back in 1980 in a classified or, or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it could be done, but then again, you know, unlike today with technology. So, so you never saw any of his movies or nothing? 
Well, you saw the Nutty Professor, right? Oh, he's in that? No, he's the one that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Man, isn't that what the oh. black black actors in it? What's his name? Eddie Murphy. No, he's, he's the, the one. Eddie Professor. He's the one that originally did it. Eddie Shaw. Um, what's that? Eddie did. No, Eddie did not originally write that or direct it. Or, he did it. Oh, no, you can, you can bring it up. Well, he will, and you'll pop it on that green screen. Oh, go. It's right there. You'll pop Is it, it on that green screen, please. Wow, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, see see the picture of him, Rick. Yeah, that's yeah. a little crooked though. And good thing we don't have we didn't have that uh, GPS on here yeah. of the tennis. I didn't have you the use tennis your, court. I didn't have you use your Forrest Whitaker eye to level it out. <laughs> <laughs> to level it out. Hey, sit there and look from the side just a little more. Is it, is it's it, it's 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 an inch off. Is it inch off? Go okay. Right. Right. How were you diagnosed with the Forrest Whitaker eye? <laughs> Some oh, diagnosed. <laughs> Tell us that. Tell us. I was riding. I was uh, at a horse ranch, and I and I was going to ride a horse, mm -hmm. and I was like. Nah, I probably shouldn't. But then, there, there, you know, I was like, let me try it. So I put the saddle on, tighten the saddle up. And then before I jumped on, I noticed there was this big horse fly, right? It was flying around. I tried to get at it. I thought it went away. But apparently, it went on the horse before I got on and started biting the horse. So the, ho the horse was <laughs> wow. so That was one angry fucking I was like, horse. Yeah. And you should have saw he the thought fly. <laughs> <laughs> the fly was big. I mean, he's probably like, horse flies are really huge. Probably like two inches taller than you. Like, that's a huge horse fly. <laughs> that's a huge fly. <laughs> By, biting the horse with these teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and today, he's fucking like, horse. You know what his eye. name was? Jerry the horse fly. Yeah, Jerry the horse fly. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry the horse fly. <laughs> he had goggles though too. <laughs> he had those fucking goggles. <laughs> Okay, Y'all, so he too <laughs> likes to impersonate his nephews. Oh, jeez. Yeah. A lot of impersonating going on. But, okay, mm -hmm. so this horse fly landed on the horse mm -hmm. and continued to bite the horse, and you didn't notice it. And <clears throat> no, it was on the other side of the horse. Wow. And then it kicked you? And then it bucked me off. And then it, it, that it, as it, I was falling back, it kicked me at the same time as I was falling, sliding off. Oh, oh so, yeah. did that so you know how you do it like in the movies? Yeah. <laughs> so did, did, that, did that contribute to your bird chest? Yeah, that's where he kicked me. <laughs> he, he kicked me in the chest. He kicked me in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he said, nothing's wrong with me. I'm okay. <laughs> I don't need disability. I'm good. I don't need no all that. I'm good. Fucking <laughs> that's like, like a one tear coming out. I'm yeah. good. So, again, that's how you... Fucking horse flies, man. Yeah, fucking horse, horse flies. flies. They are quite huge, especially in, up in northern Minnesota. If anyone's not familiar with horse flies, um, yeah, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> Just look it up. What about you there? Or northern There's Minnesota. Right there. How northern are we going? Well, I thought they were like, remember when Kelly and Carrie had a, a cabin way up north? I thought like way up that way. What was it, Mora? Something like that up by Mora, Minnesota. The State Park? It was quite a ways. That was They had like the first... Four wheeler that I knew of way. Yeah, they, yep, yep. They had they a four wheeler. Had, they had a couple of four wheels. That's yeah. when you and Gary took one out. And, and I, we went to the, the to the state park. Yeah, and I think bears. when I went with them, Gary was going up something. I told him, I think I told him not to, and then he he went up this hill, and he flipped it backwards, and then when he flipped it backwards, he got back on it, but then when he put his feet down. He, he full throttled it, and that motherfucker ran over the back of his legs. So he went like this, and he fucking went up on the throttle. So he literally just rolled up on, he rolled up on himself. <laughs> and then the fuck, you can see the tread marks on the back of his legs. I'm like, what the fuck? Because back then, I don't think they had the, the safety that they do now. Where But didn't he have a three-wheeler too? I think he had a three-wheeler and he had the four-wheeler. But them things would tip over you. Real, right. No, no, no. He he didn't have the quad wheelers. He only had the three wheelers. So you guys weren't they weren't being very safe. No, he no. Had, I thought he had four wheelers. He had a blaster or something. It was called. No, I thought <clears> he <throat> only had uh, the three wheelers. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the quads yet. Yep, I I believe he only had the because he had a picture of John. Remember that? Because we took Jonathan yeah. with us. It was and on the three wheeler, not the quad. Yep, I I think it was on the. Th Must have been my other family. Picture? I don't know. Maybe it was my other family. <laughs> and I think what that happened to that picture. I'm pretty sure that was when he was out searching for milk. I don't know. <laughs> that was one of his adventures. I was, was using that milk. picture to go around looking for him. <laughs> 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 have you seen this kid? Have you seen this boy? Uh, and then I just got a black 
color pan and colored it. They're like, this is his brother Josh. Was that was that nice? Was that the ghost show grandma's watching when the little girl drew a stick figure? Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? Fucking Richard. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Remember you? We brought Jonathan up there with us. Um, AKA Palestinian Johnny. Boston Johnny. Boston Johnny. Goes when Johnny was man. just so big. Mm. Yeah, those, big brother Johnny. Yeah, your big brother Johnny. <laughs> big brother Johnny. Who also was having the <clears throat> bird chest effect. Yeah. <laughs> so he's having muscle dysmorphia. <laughs> <laughs> Serious muscle case of dysmorphia. it. <laughs> he's gonna start a new telethon, huh? Labor yeah. Day. Oh, there mm. you go. Yeah, that's what it was. Huh? It was a Labor Day telethon. Jerry Lewis yeah. would be hitting handy for him. Yes, yeah. he would. Yeah, you don't re- you don't remember Jerry Lewis? I can't say that I do. You can't really say you do. Can no. You? Damn. He man. was a funny actor though. He was really funny. A lot of his actually, I think he was like one of the um, with the Rat Pack. I think he was like one of the un the un what would you call that the un the unknown or the I would say the. Unsung, like the yeah, shows yeah, that have nowadays. Yeah, he was like one of the unsung <laughs> yeah. of the Rat Pack because he hung out with Dean Martin and all. So he kind of hung out in that circle. Sammy Davis Jr. Yep, Sammy <laughs> Davis Jr. Um, who was like... Did he shake the hands of Frank Sinatra? Oh, yeah, I'm sure he shook the hands oh, of yeah. Frank Sinatra. But maybe say Frank Sinatra did it in the kitchen saying, Hey, I, I know you're a good star in that, but your name is Jerry Lewis. and mm. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, associated to that, so... And they used to go on TV, even like telethons back in the day, they'd have a drink in their hand. Yeah. Have a cigarette. Yeah, they used to smoke and drink on TV. Actually, I think Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra was on one of the telethons. Really? So, yeah. Mm. If you look it up, look it up once. Where is, where is it again on, on that lovely green screen? Um, it, it, is it, it, that new to the production? Or you, it was just never got unpackaged? It just never got from unpacked. The move. Never got unpackaged. Oh, from the move? What happened to that fine studio you were at? We had to go up some spiral staircase. Nice wooden oak one. Hold on. Nice what? wooden oak one. Talk about Uncle Gary's house. Oh, 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 yeah, you kind of got me with that spiral staircase there, man. I was like, where the fuck were we? Was that provided from Patches Catering? Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that. But he uses, um, he, he reuses McDonald's cups. <laughs> yes, he, <laughs> he, he, he's a recycle. He, he's a big believer. The pandemic. <laughs> he's a big believer in this whole recycle, save the earth. Yes, Patches Catering, check out the links below. Check out. But yes, he's a big believer in saving Mother Earth. So, uh, uh, do you guys say uh, spaghetti from Patches, or was that from somewhere else? That was, oh, no, from, that was from Patches. Oh, yeah, Patches yeah. whipped up some spaghetti. But was it good? It, it was, was quite tasty. A homemade sauce. Yes, a homemade with handcrafted sauce. noodles. A homemade sauce handcrafted. made down on West Seventh with crafted <clears throat> noodles that were down from and West Seventh you, you, in St. Paul. Would you guys go to Kowalski's or what was that? Oh, for you, for you vegan no, fuckers. I uh, think I think Patches gets his ingredients from the food bank. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big believer in he's supporting your, yes he's a big believer in supporting your local food bank so <laughs> yes for you, for you vegan fuckers uh, he also makes it with a great zucchini noodle oh mm-hmm. that would sound good but that, it's green organic right? it green? organic very organic oh, no. and and pumpkin noodles no. you, have Ooh, you guys ever had, had that noodle? no I went too far now. Well, for, for you vegan lovers would you try a pumpkin noodle no would you try anything with pumpkin, like pumpkin? I ice tried it cream? once. I think it was some fucking coffee. Or I tried the pumpkin, pumpkin Ooh, pie uh, blizzard from Dairy Queen once. Is it good? Oh, no. Nah. We so I we stopped at DQ, DQ, and this fucking Samoa <clears throat> thought he would try their new experiment, which mm-hmm. was the fucking pumpkin blizzard. It was Thanksgiving. And then he tells me, "Oh, I love pumpkin, Uncle." I love. I, I just <laughs> love. No, 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 no. I love to no, take no, pumpkin no, no, and no, no, just no, no. <laughs> Hey, all over myself. I got pumpkin soap at home. Uh, I said <laughs> it was spice in it. So I, buy I said that I love pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Blizzard, <laughs> and on the way back to the crib, as we're driving, we're talking, and he's just holding it. <clears throat> and I'm looking out of the corner of my eye, like, man, this kid's not fucking eating it. <laughs> so just as we got to the bridge by Cub Foods, 
I said, hey, man, you're not going to eat that, are you? And he's like, no. <laughs> I said, you really don't want it, do you? No. I was like, man, fucking throw it out the window. So he tossed it out the window. I fucking make a U-E and go back to DQ. And that's when you learn what? Um, stick to what you know. Stick to what you know. So even though you see something, you're And I know to... Oreo blizzards with banana. Right. So even though you see something that you might want to try, it's best to let someone else order it or see if you can get a sample of it right. to taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's almost like when, when I was at work with Mark, when we worked at Amerilab, Mark somehow fucked up, mixed his, his buddy bologna, that buddy packaging stuff. Mm-hmm. He mixed honey mustard ham with, with something else like pastrami or something. So when I was sitting there eating, Marky bit into a sandwich and then that look up, uh, and I was like, Mark, what's wrong? He goes, oh, man, this don't taste so good. <laughs> and I said, well, just throw it away. He goes, no, nah, I can't, man, because Marky doesn't throw anything oh. away. And I was like, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to eat it? He goes, yeah. So he sat there and fucking forced himself to eat the sandwich. And I was like, fuck, man, I would have just so threw that shit What part didn't he like, the honey ham? I, I think it was the honey mustard oh. and something else that was with it. I'm not a fan of the honey mustard. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of honey mustard or honey ham. No, so not I'm not a big ham. fan of that. So fried fried spam or fried bologna? Beef bologna or the, the, like eight different What's what's more your your speed? Beef, beef bologna. So beef fried bologna? fried spam or beef bologna? Fried so not spam. the Oscar Mayer bologna? What about well, you? Oscar Mayer makes a beef bologna, but originally the bologna was bologna. Yeah, but bologna had like the hooves, the ears, the tails. The scrap pieces of meat. That remember when we were working on the high plant? And um, remember that rendering plant? And sometimes we would throw, like, <clears throat> pop cans or whatever into the auger. Mm-hmm. And then that auger would feed it into the things that they would take over to the rendering plant of all that fat. And remember, we had to go over to the rendering I don't know. Were you with us when we had to go over to the rendering plant? And we had to, like, unclog their auger? Because they're like, hey, you guys fucked up our auger, and you know, you better send somebody over here. So they, Gordy, ended up sending us over there. And then when we got there, we we unclogged their auger. But I don't know if you recall that, um, because they take all that fat and stuff, they they heat it up, they melt, it. and they, they melt, melt it, and then they turn that into like some kind of cow feed, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And then at the end, when we we're about to to leave out, remember that truck or that van from the Humane Society pulled up, fucking doors opened up, <clears throat> and some dude goes, hey Bob, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm here with another load, and he starts whipping out these cats and dogs, they're all fucking stiff, they've been uh, euthanized, and they're just like fucking flat as shit, and he starts whipping them out, and he goes, okay Bob, I'll see you next week, and he fucking closes the doors and he takes off, so they take <laughs> like the Humane Society euthanize animals and they, they heat them up and they you grind them up down, and right. they stick that into the feed too. Were you aware of that? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I still wasn't. The same company that makes that tomato sauce, the spaghetti sauce you guys use. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you really don't, and it's organic. <laughs> so they, they really, you really don't know what you what goes into what you eat. As far as like with bologna, well, cause, yeah, because they'll cause say pork the, or, or, or beef, but they right. tell you, you know what? But they're saying, well, it's beef, but how old is the beef? Right. Is it from a from a dying fucking carcass? Right. That they just or a, a messed up cow? Because they yeah, remember at the slaughterhouse, because they would be like the. Well, remember up someone read an expose they on that? On a, some lady, you know, she was like from some kind of animal human rights, but they would go up there with like their. I would say they're little mini cameras, but back their body cam. Yeah, their body cam. So they got this fucking big video camera. They're trying to hide. Be inconspicuous. They're trying to be inconspicuous. Holding their face like this. Right. Got a big old button on their jacket. <laughs> so she's going around the stockyards, and there's these fucking cows like ah. And pigs just. And they're no. fucking on their last leg. Ah. So normally they got to take those animals and separate them from the other ones, but they were still slaughtering those ones. And so again, you got all these chicken feed houses, these stock, you know, wherever, like in the southern part of the United States, uh, north, southern part, east coast, whatever, down in Texas. So 
that's money. And again, they don't want to just throw the animal away and whatever, so they're going to do something with it. And it's going to probably find its way into the food source, you know. But you don't know that. No. You're, you're hoping that someone's doing a <clears throat> diligent job. I was watching something on there showing the, the chicken producers. Right. You know, so like, so like, man, short, round, short round argument is that, hey, these eggs, these chickens are organic. They're not caged. Okay, they're not single caged chickens, but they're still, they're, they're still in a bigger cage. Yeah, they're penned up. Yeah. <laughs> so even though they're not isolated by themselves, but they are still in a bigger pen with other chickens eating their own shit. Mm-hmm. Packed. You know? or, pe- or eating the ones that die. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, so chickens packed. do that. Chickens do that. So chickens packed. would do, revert to cannibalism. Really? Yeah. Well, then, too, I, I was asking this <clears throat> one farmer because he has cattle. Oh, oh, you're speaking of that. You know meerkats? Mm-hmm. Um, they, they, they did a thing on it. And meerkats, um, death rates are... Is that a picture of a meerkat? Yes. Okay. It's a picture of a meerkat. It looks a lot like you. <laughs> <laughs> With big teeth. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> they're considered. They a person? <laughs> they're considered the most homicidal um, animal in the animal kingdom, due to the fact that 19% of meerkats' deaths are caused by their own. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they murder each other. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was. Uh, she was like, "Yeah, you need to update this. You're gonna be you're gonna be here for a full day, so you just plan on it. Hmm. Bring yourself a lunch." <clears throat> so, uh, anyways, yeah, meerkats, man. They're uh, 19. percent They're the highest um, homicidal hom- for homicidal. Their percentage of deaths. Okay, now what? Is, 19% what is, of their deaths are um, due to other meerk- meerkats killing each other. So they kill each other. Yeah. So you can't put two of the same cats <clears throat> together. You Without one killing like, the hey, other. this guy's going to go to that hole and be with... They're not really cats. <laughs> but what the fuck are they? It's it's just it's, a cat. It's, they're like a marsupial. Like, like a long like. prairie dog. Or yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Then why do you call it a cat? If it's well, like a... It's, it's cut. The name is Meerkat. Meerkat. It's going to be on the screen, right? Yeah, it's right there. You, see, you remember Timon? Oh, okay. Remember Timon from Lion King? Yeah. He's a meerkat. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, those things. Oh, okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, I thought you would have seen it from the picture. So what? So they just kind of, like, attack each other, though? Yeah. But the just... one in the Lion King was really friendly. Yeah, no, apparently, no, they, they, they get real, like, hey, so, what's up? So Disney and the, Disney and their, and their <clears> name <throat> of Disney, they like to take things that are deadly and make them seem like as if they're friendly. Right. Yeah, like, like the um, singing lion? Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the um the monkey's name? R- Ralph or uh, what the fuck's his name in the movie? The baboon. Yeah, I'm trying to think what his name. Is. Anyway, Rafiki. Um, Rafiki really um well baboons really just kill lion cubs. So realistically, Rafiki would have grabbed that baby and just br- brutally murdered it. <laughs> you ripped it apart. Huh? Yeah. Simba would have been brutally murdered by Rafiki. <laughs> Rafiki was like, "Come here, little motherfucker." Well, yeah. well, well, those don't chimps do that too? Like, oh, chimps are they over to beat the, the beat the, the babies up or something? Chimps, chimps would actually eat other little babies. And I believe humans, human deaths or whatever was only one percent due to murders. Really? So we're pretty low on that list. It's crazy, right? But I'm just saying, chimp chimpanzees <clears throat> eat other smally small baby chimpanzees. And this information I got from TikTok. Really? Yeah. TikTok. Yeah, fuck TikTok. TikTok we teach. Did you did you and, and Trump check wants it? to shut it down, huh? Trump you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have been able to learn that fact. I would never have been able to learn that oh, fact. Because you couldn't be able to open up a book. I never would have thought to fucking look up China's the most homicidal animal. Yeah. China gave you that information. <laughs> mm-hmm. So why why does Trump why does Trump really want to shut down TikTok? You know who has the highest percent of being a creep? Who? Guys named Jerry. <laughs> You learned that from TikTok? At, at 99.9%. <laughs> you learned that from TikTok? No, that's just real life experience. <laughs> that's just real life experience. <laughs> that's probably why I like Fucking a rare name. Imposter. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this this podcast is going to blend into <clears throat> the, the other podcast we did the other day, correct? I mean, it's, gonna it's be, a new day, man. Right, it's a new day. Yeah, but because you can't blend it in because they're going to be like... Yeah. Hey, look at who's going to be two one show, and they got right. There'll be two right. separate shows. But we may talk about stuff that right. we talked about. So about. some of the stuff that, that we didn't was, get to finish on that one. Right. That we didn't get to finish <clears> yesterday <throat> due to technical difficulties. Due to a lot of technical difficulties and interference. Yes. Which today's is a relatively nice day. 
People aren't here. Yes, people are not showing up. Oh, it is a nice day now. It's starting to look at the skies. Yeah, what, what's telling you that? Sky's Wahoo? blue? Yeah, what, what's telling you that? Wahoo? I saw this shadow go by and I looked over <laughs> this magnificent <laughs> cloud. And I looked over <laughs> Saw that light blue sky. And you heard the flute music in the and, background. And, and, and the branches. It's <clears throat> <laughs> the forest was talking. Yeah. What would, what would uh, Jerry's Indian name be? Man, I have to think. Plays with, <laughs> plays with meerkats? Oh, <laughs> plays with meerkats. Littlefoot? <laughs> Littlefoot. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 How about, how Brown about, nose. How about, how about, um, how about, how about, uh, Walks how about tall. A t- 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 today, Jerry? <laughs> Walks tall, <laughs> carries big stick. How, how about uh, <clears throat> how about big big green plays with self? <laughs> how about big green fallen leaf? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> how, how about that's where you went? How about how about, how about slow running stream? <laughs> no, no, no. That that's a slow, <clears throat> slow running stream. How about Too small many. small furry buffalo? Yeah, maybe. You know, something like that. Small red buffalo. I guess. Yeah, you or see. Or koala. How could they? What, no, how there's no they koalas koala? in the. How would you think they would say koala? Well, I don't think they have a word. Because <laughs> there's no koalas that. in North America. Why not? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, geographically speaking, well, yeah. it's not here. Yeah, they're, they're they more found in Australia, which is a continent. Miles and miles so away. So you're saying. So you're saying a koala would have jumped in the ocean. Everything else to the, U, the United States of America. And they remind me of that and scene and from. They didn't bring a koala. <clears throat> they did not bring a koala, Richard. Or a panda. Or a panda. That, uh, actually, Richard <clears throat> didn't think pandas actually existed until the 1900s. AJ. When they first discovered them when he said, in the mountains of China. When he said, why not? It reminded me of that scene from Monty Python with the coconut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Found a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean there's coconuts not here? Well, it's not native to the land, sir. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Richard. Yeah, koalas um, aren't native to North America. No, Richard, they're not. Just like horses aren't native to North America, but they were brought here. That's what I'm saying. They, saw, they brought everything else but pandas. Well, koala, what use? What, we well, what use would they get from the koala? If they brought it. I mean, is it gonna <clears throat> just to have have like a pet? Like, like look at Pablo Escobar. <laughs> he brought hippos to Colombia. They didn't have hippos, right? Now they got them everywhere. See? Do they got them everywhere now? Everywhere. They fucking they escaped and they just they said populated. Oh, because nothing else can kill it. So Colombia Cro- crocodiles don't even fuck with uh, hippos. They're what just are, yeah, the fucking hippos are huge. <clears throat> uh, cro- um, hippos kill crocodiles, actually. Hold on. So what you're telling me right now, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of they went rogue hippos that went rogue in Colombia. Yeah. Now that they made their way to the to the river streams and they call it their own. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. hippos, the hippos in Colombia are now an invasive species. Yeah, because they're nothing in can Colombia. Kill. Just like Florida has many invasive species. Now, the word invasive <coughs> species is a nice Pythons way. Pythons are invasive. Very invasive. They're not so, native. So the word invasive is a nice way of saying shit that doesn't belong there. Yeah. Right? Because we had an invasive species. Uh, alli- alligators aren't invasive, right? They were already already there. Right? Yeah, but now <coughs> they're just... I think because... There's so many of them. Now they pop up underneath your car and in your swimming pool in Florida. Well, I mean, because they're constantly building. So what was the one invasive species that we had that we had here that we had to end up renaming an invasive species? Fish? Wasn't it that fish? Yeah. What was that? The Did Chinese you, oh, carp? Oh, yeah. Some shit. Yeah. Asian carp. Oh, Asian. Yeah. Because they labeled it the Asian carp because it came from Southeast Asia. That What's your that was that was being derogatory towards the fish and it's the a, culture. It's an Asian. So part. now we had to call it the evasive because it would elude you. <laughs> like, 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 like put on a big mustache or some sunglasses and it said, "Hey, and you're not gonna see me here." He put the Clark Kent special into it. Hey. Yeah. It put hey, on a was, okay, so so back to the hippos. Yeah. It says Pablo Escobar. He imported four hippos from America. 
1981. Right? And had him at his little private 1981. Tour. Correct. And then when he died, whatever, his empire collapsed, they <clears> escaped. <throat> and now they say there's uh, how 80, did they, how did 80 they, or they, more hippos how did they escape? in Colombia that started off four. How did they escape? Someone Somebody just them. didn't give a fuck as today, man. Pick the locks. <laughs> Somebody said, "Hey, man, I ain't Let taking them them motherfuckers." You're well, free after the after the, the fence he rode it or something. Maybe they got because what would hippos? Yeah, they're actually quite fast on land. They are quite fast, especially mm-hmm. in water mm-hmm. and in land. They can yeah. actually run pretty quick. So, what do hippos eat? Um, trolls. It's <laughs> a big part of their diet. It's a big part of their diet. <clears throat> it seems like they just eat like. Like what cows eat on, 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 it seemed like it would, what we call grass on land because they're always down there eating vegetation. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're so vegetation almost, eating. I yeah. wonder if they're organic eaters. Well, I mean, it's from the ground, so it's organic. Right. They're, they're, they're big organic eaters. They are very big organic eaters. Yes. So can you eat a hippo? I mean, are hippos, well, anything's edible. Yeah, but I think maybe you'd have to cook it a little different seasoning wise because of what it eats. I feel like the meat would be tough. Yeah, because of the outer part of the hippo is mm-hmm. tough. It's a tough ass meat. Yeah, it just seems like a tough animal to eat. Like you, yeah. I ate um, bear jerky before. Really? Where'd you get your hands on that? My dad got it. Oh, where'd you get your hands on that, Richard? Was that uh, from your tribe? <laughs> tribe? We had our annual community uh, bear hunt. Uh huh. For big. Big bear? Right, right. This is huge bear. Huge. Show, show me your bear claw necklace you got. Oh, oh, oh I'll bring you next show. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. So you guys had your annual bear hunt? Yeah. And, where the uh, tribe got together? Tribe got together. And we they, we always pick one person to do the hunting. And they picked me. So wow, I was they like, picked. Ooh. So I was out there. Hey, did you put on, on that like, face paint? Not till I got out there into the into the wild. Oh, to become one you, with the animal. Did you take bear scat and just rub it on you? So I did that. That way, would think you were it. Oh, one I of took it right out of him. And then oh, 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 damn! No, that's a sign of a great warrior. Then you, up, then you raise up your spear and say, "Yeah!" <laughs> hey, you did that. Me, my, me, my, me, my. I had my lighter with the fire. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> like, like, what was that one movie? Um, uh, oh shit! What the hell was that one movie? Um, with those cavemen, with, quest for fire. Yeah, quest for fire. <laughs> we like that. We fucking. You had a couple of rocks and you're trying to make a a fire. Then you said, "Fuck!" He pulled out your lighters. And <laughs> <laughs> so no one would know. Uh, Nobody would know. Nobody know. That's a Mel Brooks movie, huh? <laughs> no. the lighter. <laughs> Nobody would know. How to light. The herbivore. That's what they say. That word again. They eat both. So they eat meat, meat yeah. and um, vegetation. Bear, bears are not what do hippos eat? Can hippos eat humans? Oh, I'm sure they could. Yeah. See, well, they kill. Sure. There's, sure there's a lot of deaths um, related to hippos. Human deaths. Yeah, but is that from getting mutilated by hippos? Grass. Yeah. See, mainly it's just grass and plants. Yeah, see? It's just you being in their, their territory. And they just, it's just you fucking with them or. In their space. In their space. You're in their safe space. Because hippos like to have their space, I'm guessing. Yeah. And when you intrude on their space. Kind of like a bear. Yeah. It and, has a space. And, who, and hippos kind of look look down on that. You know, do you think when that when that grizzly man got mutilated by that fucking bear, he said, man, I fucked up. <laughs> I sure. think he, saw, he <clears throat> thought that when they saw that big claw coming in through the tent. <laughs> man. <laughs> like, not to disrespect the guy because he's dead but like watching this that movie this guy, I think the guy I don't fuck I haven't, I haven't watched the movie but I've seen clips like I think he was out here trying to fuck a bear he, he seems like he, had, he tried to have a real special relationship with these bears he tried to have a three way with a bear I guess and he's saying he had a girlfriend <laughs> with him you know what man I don't he bought that. it on himself man you're out there with grizzly bears what the fuck do you like expect? real live okay. grizzly bears these motherfuckers are big and they're hungry the fuck? and that's all they do they eat Roam around. Eat. Like he's gonna try to eat something else, but if he ain't gonna find it, bro, you finish. So even if you it's your pet, it. you, you think it'll still eat you if it's your pet? Yeah. Why? Yeah, if you have like a pet bear? I yeah. Mean, I think it would. <clears> Why? It's, it's, and then, but can't you imprint on it? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's that's a word that like old people use. <laughs> Like you can have Rube as a pet. I thought you've been uh, watching too much of the fuck. This guy. No, it's like 
<laughs> have you been, haven't you been imprinted on yeah, it? Yeah, that's what this guy how he and did you it stuck your dick that, in it or something. That's when you become one with the wolf, you <laughs> imprint on him. Motherfuckers been okay. watching too much of that fucking. Hey, I got it back from this guy over here. Yeah, man. you you become imprinted yeah. with this. With this you, Why you, do you, you think you, they you, tell you not to touch um, if you find like a wild baby animal? They say don't touch it because of the smell of you. Okay. Well, that's not called imprint. If you, you think, find, it, it's a, <laughs> you think you let animal say, uh, "I've been imprinted." <laughs> look into my eyes. Yeah, look, at this, look sideways. <laughs> We've been imprinted. Look into my eyes. Yeah. I think you're my destiny. A bear is a bear. A bear is a bear. A bear is a fuck. fuck movie it's like it's like uh, that chimpanzee. I'm pretty sure that lady said this fucking chip would never hurt me. But she imprinted. <laughs> What she imprinted? Well, hey man, some mother, she... some motherfuckers are just vicious <laughs> homicidal murderers. It's always a wolf. Would you consider a wolf? Oh no, man, what movie is that where they they use the word imprinted with that chick bell? Twilight. Twilight. Yeah. Oh, that's what he got it though. Uh, yeah. He kind of said in that girl. Twilight. The first time he said it though. He said uh, imprinted with yeah. this. With this majestic, I bet you, I bet you had short round, man. Yeah, this is some Asian shit you know about. Hey, short round, hey, short round. Uh, have you ever been imprinted <laughs> by, by another older man? <laughs> hey, <What>? short round. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I'm a fucking joke to you, son. <laughs> But you said I've been imprinted. <laughs> That's I, what, what the fuck That's is what that? That's what told me about a war. If you imprint that, then they won't, they won't harm you. Hey, man. When you go to your... Next time you go to your zoo tour class or your tour with the zoo, uh, say, hey, 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 I got a question. Have you ever been imprinted <laughs> by this animal? And then you'll be a, a shark tank. He's going to jump in there with the shark. <laughs> Haven't you ever watched <laughs> The Wolfman? Haven't you ever watched Twilight Man? <laughs> Haven't you? No. No, but, but how the guy, <laughs> the guy that lives with a, a pack of wolves. You never seen that guy? <laughs> I've seen. He imprinted on the wolf pack. <laughs> I've seen uh, fucking who's that dude? Kevin Costner. Oh, Tatanka. <laughs> uh, Tatanka. What, yeah. what was that movie? Kevin Costner with the wolf dancing with the wolf. Dancing with the wolf, yeah. <laughs> <Look at this. laughs> hey, hey, dancing with the wolf. Yeah, that'd be your Indian name. <laughs> dancing with wolves. And as the pack's running towards him, he's putting his arms out. Stop, guys, stop. <laughs> and they jump out. <laughs> hey, wow, that's your fucking Indian name. Dancing with wolves. Hey, dancing with wolves. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> It's gonna be a full moon tonight, yeah. man. You know what? <laughs> They're beautiful, majestic creatures. <laughs> so fuck you. All How about right. that? He does scratch like this. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. When he brings his, when he brings his leg up, behind his head. Fuck yeah, so scratch again. Hey man, then I can't impersonate one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, fuck. It just got <laughs> real, man. Oh, shit. Man, my bad. Hey, hold on. Make sure <laughs> this is rolling. This is good shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I think we're done with all that. All I asked was, do you think that guy said fuck? <laughs> yes, he did. He said fuck. You think, man, I think she, that lady should release the audio. I thought they did release the audio. I don't know. He said that I they did. I watched that show. I, they gave her. They gave. I thought they gave that lady. I don't know if you remember. It was his sister, whoever it was. They gave her that watch that they. That was all that was left. After they had like <laughs> six, that's one thing that like six trash bags or something of wow. body wow. parts or something like that. Wow. That so he really, ate really bone and all. Yeah, that's what they said. That the, the, uh, so he must have been starving for days. The helicopter pilot said he saw a skull or some kind of bone or something. That's how come he he knew it was like oh shit.
How the fuck? Saw, the hell? Yeah, how the fuck did he see a skull or yeah. a bone from fucking you, you see what it was. from fucking ten thousand feet in the air? He turned sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he said, he said, he said, Wahoo, use your ego eye. He said, the sun caught it at the right reflection time. And he said, hey, man, he's that Force Whitaker eye. I'm going to call you ego eye now. Wahoo. Ego eye and he dances with bears. What the fuck? He turns this up. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's there. Go, that looks like the, the, the femur. Uh, I, I go jump on the branch and shit. <laughs> we got one eye eagle eye and fucking he who dances with bears. Wolves. Jesus Christ. Fucker. Dances with wolves. Oh, man. So, um, Richard, earlier you are bringing up that Lady Diana died on this day. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, yeah. and the one person they forgot. Was, is Was her boyfriend, right? Right. The Egyptian playboy. The Egyptian playboy. What was his name? Dodie. Dodie. Dodie the Playboy. Dodie the Playboy. Dodie the Playboy from Dodie. Monaco. Yeah. And the family was in farming? No, they were in... Uh, they owned... Their, their family had a stake in Harajs, that, that store in London that... It's, a, it's... I don't know what it would be considered in... Like a Saks Fifth Avenue or yes, something? Yes. A high-end yes, department yes. store? Yes. And he bought some... Hotel, I think the Ritz in London or something like that. His dad did. Isn't that so, where they left uh, from? Because you uh, turn his way. Why don't you sit, leave the mic there, but sit more that way. So that when you turn, it'll be in the mic. There you go. So isn't that the hotel that they left from the night when they got killed in the tunnel? I don't know. It probably would have been, huh? It would have been, I thought. Because they, they, it wasn't it, didn't they go like through the back way and yeah, they, they the snuck out, started chasing yep, they them? snuck out the, out the alley. And then Go the, just the paparazzi more. was chasing them. A little more that way. And it'd be fine. And then the paparazzi was chasing them into the tunnel. And that's when the driver was doing like 100. And then he hit the the center column or something and bounced around so, like a ping like pong. That, yeah, and smashed and a that, pinball and, that Mercedes up, right? Right. So there was actual footage because I think the paparazzi, because they were behind them, they jumped out of the car and they were taking the photos <clears> of her <throat> of her mutilated body and his in the back seat. Dang. She was like, oh. Uh. So you think she was murdered or you think it was an accident? Do I think she was murdered? Why would you murder Lady Diana? Well, I maybe. Know, wasn't I mean, was, what, was, what? An what assassination? Poss- yeah. By yeah, the yeah, British yeah. government? But yeah. what What would she know that? I don't know. Wahoo, what, what would she know? What would she know that she would need to be assassinated? How to say hey, she probably She probably told, Prince Charles probably told her everything. About what? What, 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 what was going on? What, what, the queen didn't like her, right? Was that the thing? The well, why don't you really know? Humanitarian I, stuff. She did a lot of... Yeah, because she started... Cause, because they're royal. So so you, you think it was just an accident? I think it was just an accident, but but because they were royal... You don't think it's suspicious that it happened when you can't see down there? Well, I guess, but I I'm just saying... They just chasing them on a motorcycle or something, wasn't Yeah, it? In, in another car, but I'm just saying, because they were royal, she wasn't from that life. She was from being just a commoner, of what they would call it. But seeing how they get weighted on hand and foot, like if you blow your nose, you got someone there to wipe your nose. So she didn't want her kids to grow up just knowing to be weighted on. So she wanted her kids to know how other people in the world suffer. So she took her kids on these little, I don't know, humanitarian things Mm -hmm. to show them, you know, this is how other people in the world live. Well, so, that's back when there was a bad drought. Remember that? Even right, yeah. The USA, that we yeah. are the world, whatever. When Africa was going through some of the, yeah, like, yeah, Sudan. Yeah, and yep. Sudan. Yep, so she was, actually, so she wasn't living in a bubble like mm-hmm. some people do, like rich folks do, because they're like, oh, you know, well, we'll just throw money that way, or mm-hmm. we're helping a charitable cause. She I actually went and, and met with <clears> them. <throat> so, you know what I, you know what I mean? And I think maybe, like he was saying, or you're saying, maybe the crown didn't like that. You know, that one of theirs, or somebody with their title, mm-hmm. was doing such a thing. Because now it looks bad on them that they're not doing it. Mm. So maybe they did. They say, Rest in peace, well, Maybe, maybe, too. Rest maybe, peace maybe they were bad because he was Egyptian. Yeah, you know, she was getting a fucking foreign dick stuck in her. So... Maybe that yeah. go, didn't go over too well either. Very, very wow. graphic. Yeah, that, very graphic. That's 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 very. But graphic. it's just 
you know, you know, I think it was just an accident. The, they were being chased. The driver was going too fast. Mm -hmm. He lost control of the vehicle because the tunnel is very narrow that they were in. And when he hit that center column or one of the columns, you know, basically you're... So did everybody die in the car? No. Um, the driver didn't die. He lived. Did he? Yep. I, I don't remember. I just know it was yep, them the driver And that's kind of weird. Do you think he ever got another driving gig after that? Probably not. It's but that's kind of weird. How, how's it you're the driver? <clears throat> well, maybe because he was... So um, who died in the car? Um, Lady Diana and... Her, Doty. Doty. Egyptian See, when you keep saying Doty, I keep thinking of that guy from Harry Potter. That little thing with the big ears. That's Dobby. Dobby, yeah. Maybe that's why they uh, named that dude Dobby. I don't think wow. so. Short from Doby or something. Because that lady is British. He said Doty. Right. That lady is British. I don't think so. No. Maybe, huh? Yeah. So, Wahoo. Huh? What the fuck is under that tennis court? <laughs> not just fucking around. Don't answer that. What is underneath that tennis court? Fuck no. We're not going A back into den. that. A wolf den. Yeah. You think so? He brought him to the island. Ep Esp Esp Epstein was back harboring... Back to Epstein. Epstein was harboring wolves. That's, see, that's the real story. I think that is the real story. I don't think so. He didn't want to get caught with the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> so he masqueraded this whole sex yeah. trafficking thing? <laughs> so he didn't get caught with the wolves? He won't pay attention to the wolves. Yeah, that maybe he That'd be too consumed with all these underage girls. Right. And you know what's really funny is how Donald Trump, when they asked um, him about that chick, and he goes, I hope she does well or some shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, Richard, what do you think of all this whole law, this, this whole thing going on with with this this law being being lawless and disorder that's going on between <clears throat> in Kenosha or Kenosha, Wisconsin to Portland. And it says there's a, a Christian fundraising site that has raised over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for accused Kenosha Shooter, it's just like accused when there's video of this motherfucker shooting. Well, well he's I innocent. Didn't see him he's shoot the first one. It. He's innocent till proven. And 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 okay, in the second second shooting he did, I I seen a video of him running away from the first one. Mm -hmm, that's I didn't I actually see him, or, or you know, video. But then you see he was being chased, right? Okay, you're mm -hmm. being chased by protest. A mob. But you hear the what audio in the videos them saying he shot somebody. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But. Yeah. They also said the cops shot that guy in downtown Minneapolis, and he did it, right? He committed suicide. Right. Where they almost, you know, started going off again. Right. So, but I mean, at the point where he was being chased, I don't think they're protesters anymore. I think they're like a mob. Because now they're all like, get him, get well, him. Well, yeah, that is an angry mob. Yeah. That, that is I mean? an angry But then again. He's being chased. Okay, okay, but hold on. But he wouldn't have been chased. If he wasn't carrying a legal firearm. That illegally obtained. He illegally obtained that He's firearm. He's only 17. I know. So, so, and his mom so, took him, so, right? His mom took him. So despite what you're saying, so what you're saying is kind of following along the lines as that police chief saying there wouldn't have been anyone getting shot <laughs> if they would have been out there protesting. Okay, nobody would have got shot if this kid when it came. underage obtained an illegal firearm who's claiming to be a patriot law-abiding citizen. Protecting people's protecting property. Protecting people's property. Yeah, one, how can you defend something where you don't even live? Right. You right. don't live there, okay, you don't own one, nothing. Okay, but that's not even for one. For one, where the fuck did you get the firearm and how how are you in possession of it when you're not even legally able to <clears throat> own it? So wait, but then, but <laughs> then, and his parent took him with that illegal firearm to another the state, state and dropped them off. So they're not talking so about they're should. not talking about the the, the, the true law the true things that he broke. Yeah. So, okay, so I he, don't give he's a shit a, about who the fuck he Well she would have said no, he would have never been there. I don't give a fuck who you shot. Okay, that's that's something else. But you brought an AR fifteen to another state, you're underage, you're only seventeen years old, and you shot <clears> somebody with it. That right there, I don't know how the fuck he's going to get off on that. Well, it's a, so it says he's charged with first degree intentional homicide, two counts of first degree reckless homicide, and attempted first degree homicide on the one dude. When he blew his arm off, yeah, they he said? Blew, yeah, he shot. Well, he didn't blow it off, oh. but he, his arm's nasty. So it well, says if, if convicted, Rittenhouse could face a mandatory life sentence. 
You know they have a GoFundMe page for? Yeah, oh, that's what right. I said. That, oh, that, that's that's what you talk about. Yeah. So so here's people, and I'm sure they're educated. And I know that there was like um, three more other because they said it was like six charges in total they got them for. So here here's my thing. There's there's educated. I think one of them was illegally obtaining a gun or something. Right. So here's here's my thing. There's 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 intelligent people out there. These these are probably good people, but yet you're endorsing. You're you're trying to fund. A criminal, yet, yet your 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 um your platform for Donald Trump is being law abiding and stop you know stop these criminals, but yet you are funding a person that had criminal activity mm-hmm. and calling them a patriot. Oh, there's a video um that that just surfaced of him too um beating, beating up a girl beating up a girl in a parking lot. Yeah, I watched that one. Same, him and another that. dude. I don't know what what did it. It was like I don't know four or five white kids. Yeah, it was like two dudes jumping a girl. Him and another dude and jumping a girl. Yeah, like I guess she smacked him or something. Well, the girl like both started. There was some bogus stuff, and then they separated. But I think the girl came back and hit his friend or something, and then that's when he he came in. That's when he said, "Oh man, I'm a patriot. I'm a I'm a bust that bitch in the mouth." Yeah, you know what? (laughs) Whoever took him, whichever parent. But, he, but he's a good kid. Too. But he's a good kid. Misguided. But, but he's just misguided. So you know what? We want to raise about two hundred fifty thousand. Was he raised his arms and they were saying people were saying he shot somebody. He shot somebody and he just walked right past the police. Like yeah, because well, I guess he was going like this. I guess he was symbol that he shot three people. I don't so know. So they already know. They're like, hey, what's up? Where's the three? They maybe that's a code for. Hey, just let me walk by. All right. Just, just let me keep walking. And then, yeah, and then there's a, a video in, in Kenosha that night or whatever mm-hmm. where um some of those um <clears throat> what are they the what what is that group the militia group part of the the part of that militia group but they're 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 there with their ARs and shit mm-hmm. and on the video he's like yeah the the co- we just got off with the cops they um they said that they're gonna push the protesters our way and said, do what you got to do with them or something like that. I'll let you deal with them. Yeah. Mm. And that's what he said on that night during the protest. Well, and then he also said, you guys are doing a good job. Get them some water. Yep. Before. You see, here, here's, here, here again, those police officers make their cahoots with these, these citizens that. That's not, it's not far from white citizen because it hadn't right. been a black citizen. I don't think he would have been walking, been able to walk. It could pass have. the cops like that. It, mm-hmm. Not it, with that. We could speculate that. We could speculate that. But again, here, here again, we have a lot of turmoil going on. A lot of things. Going a lot on. of racial divide. A lot of racially d- being divide. But yet we have a sitting president that is capitalizing on this racial dividingness to get reelected instead of trying to unite the country. Instead of trying to put, you know what I mean? Let's try to. Instead of trying to put the strife, you know. Also, they didn't, they didn't extradite him yet. Right? He's facing extradition because yeah, they can fight it. But either way, in Illinois or Wisconsin, they both have. Um, you can be charged at seventeen. That's yeah, and then, so it doesn't really matter. Wisconsin, you got to serve your whole your, your, your whole time. yeah. So you know. if he gets twenty five, like he has to serve that whole thing. Oh, in Wisconsin? Yeah, but they yeah. don't. They don't have chance of parole. The, no, they got to do their other time. Damn, so yeah, he'll get a mandatory. Like, so he doesn't want to get extradited. So, he, oh, so it is. So that's why I said so it that's is why a they're mandatory trying to fight the life sentence. Okay. Right. So if so he stays in Illinois, he gets a chance of parole after 25 or whatever. 25 years or something. Yeah, you see, that's... He it, fucked his life up. Well, no, not really, because it sounds like he's going to come out with a good book deal. And he's going to make money in a movie deal. And mm-hmm. it sounds like... American Vigilante. Yeah, American. you know, he's going to be like the next Death Wish. So, you ever seen that, Josh? The, the original one with Charles Bronson? You Death see, Wish? See, yeah, Death Wish. See the picture of Charles Bronson? That's the 357 Death Magnum? Yeah. Dirty Harry? Oh, that's Clint oh, Eastwood, huh? No, that's, yeah, that's Clint Eastwood. But I think Charles Bronson had a 357 Magnum. Yeah, he, he was always, I think in the 80s, we made think, 357 Magnum. Do you think you could shoot a 357 Magnum? No, I, my, my little troll wrist would probably break. It would yeah. probably fracture. So, <laughs> I, I would have to hold it with both hands. 
And then probably my toes too. I was gonna say probably like, <laughs> some duct tape when it's duct tape into your body. I had to stick my little, toes, <laughs> my little toes in there, and then I would shoot it. Catch yourself real good in yeah. the grass, and then I would roll uh, like like a tumbleweed. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, oh, knock shit. your shit just like that. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah, I I probably couldn't shoot such a, a heavy um gun like that. So. That's fucking funny. Yes. So, so I don't know, man. Fuck that kid, Kyle, man. Yeah, fuck him. And um, and nah. to, all, to all those um, law-abiding citizens out there, um, that, fuck you. that I would say no, to all you people of color, minorities, um, I would tell you, go get your firearm, go get an AR-15, and walk around the streets with, um, with bulletproof, Bulletproof vest because you're able to buy one yep. and do like they do, and they were, and, and bring this fucking country that? to a civil war. Because I'm telling you, all you law-abiding citizens, you need to go out there and get your fucking guns and walk around like they do. I guess for tick for tack, and uh-huh. then let's see what <clears throat> we can do. Right, this guy's trying to start a militia. Oh, yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah so I'm saying you really want so, all the neighbors to come outside with their guns. So, so you see, uh, some neighbors so you stay see, in the house with their guns. So you see how easy <laughs> that is to bring up that kind of rhetoric, and and then to get people started. Because Whoa, again, is this a point you're making, Jerry? Well, yeah, there's a point Holy because, shit. like, because, like, listen, if they're doing it, I like that word rhetoric. Right, but you know what I mean, though. Spell it. Oh, I could. I know there's an R in there, probably two <laughs> Ys. <laughs> Once again, he, I got lost. What we, what I know there's an R in there. Oh, what was this topic about? Uh, <laughs> I thought it was about a horse fly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you getting bucked off, getting kicked in the chest, <laughs> and then acquiring a fucking get your pistol and walk the street. <laughs> yeah. First, I thought it was about how you obtained this fucking Forrest Whitaker eye, but so then it turned into a total. So what's the difference you think between a protester and, and or what is that anarchist? Well, an anarchist don't anarchists don't believe want, in any. They just want to see the shit burn. Man. Yeah, they're like the Joker. So yeah. they're part of what do they call that group that inflames the riots? Oh, what's that? That inflames the riots. The, 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 remember they said uh, the ones that, that like, incite it? That yeah, incite the ones the that incite the riots. Those yeah. F, was it Ophelia? Ophelia? Oh yeah. Um, the fuck are they calling? It? Um, FIFA, right? No, FIFA or something. No, FIFA. <laughs> first <laughs> hey, that's his real name. FIFA. <laughs> FIFA soccer. Antifa. Antifa. Yeah, I think that's who you I knew it had an F in there. I knew there were two Fs. So Antifa is anarchist then? I think they're part of the. They just want to see shit burn. Antifa? Yeah. So there's so many organizations out there. That's what got what gets me is though, it seems like when there's people of color that. They're called protesters, but, and then they want to shut them down. But, like, I've seen where they have anarchists do marches and stuff like that, and they don't do anything to them. Right. I, I think I've seen that where anarchists you know, want to burn shit. You know, protesters they want to are destroy like, shit. Where we're and I up think the, the anarchists are the ones, even here during the Floyd, they were the ones that were, like, literally going into the buildings, lighting the police stations on fire, and then, like, they would show up where a lot of people um, got together, and then they would be the ones that start breaking the windows, throwing Molotov cocktails in there, and then lighting shit on fire. I, I think too is maybe a lot of angry suburban kids are like a lot of angry up, suburban. They're, they're mad I at their parents or something. Fuck like you, man. Fuck you, mom right, and dad. Right. Black lives matter. Right. You know. Right. But I, I think you're right. I think for the most part, fire. Um, a lot of the fires that were started by were by. Probably white suburban kids with fucking a pyro mentality. Or burn. Let's just yep. wreck stuff. Let, let, let's really, let's so burn it. Smashing shit. Yeah, I like to burn right. shit. You know? Mm-hmm. But, um. To all you kids, man, fuck you. Yeah, to all you white suburban kids, stop burning shit. <laughs> and hey, brothers, if you see white kids and they're about to burn shit, fucking slap them in the back of the head and say, knock that shit off. <laughs> knock that fucking shit off. Knock that fucking shit off. Give me that fucking lighter. <laughs> so fucking dimwits. So, yeah, Richard. Um, there's so many um organizations out there, mm-hmm. militias out there. If you, you started know, a militia, what would you call it? If I started a militia, 
I think I would call my militia 12 soldiers of death. Or 12, 12 patriots of... 12 patriots so there's only going to be 12 people in your militia? No, that's just a symbolic number. <laughs> be 20 of us, but there's 12. Yeah. <laughs> like an Adam Sandler be like movie. 40 of us, but then... What are the, what are the <laughs> qualifications to get in or requirements? A Mighty Python movie. <laughs> Um, you have to be a Star Wars fan. <laughs> you have to live in your mom's basement. And then when you go five people, they're gonna be like, there was only twelve. <laughs> you know, kind of like the twelve months. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, what would be the qualification? What are the qualifications of joining a militia? Is the number one being white? Because well, a lot of these militias don't seem to have people of color. I think they're diehard Americans, right? They're like, well, what is a diehard American? Because like America. Because because when you say diehard Americans, and they call apple pie, and, eating and they call and they call meatloaf eating apple pie eating mm-hmm. motherfuckers. Um, I hate meatloaf. When you, when you call it when you call somebody, hey, that's a true American patriot. Okay, look, you dumb fucks. How do you think America started? I guess the best example I can give is in. National Treasure, when the main character was at that ballroom and he was talking to the girl and the guy, and he says, "Yeah, he says, um, let's let's give it for the founding fathers because <clears throat> let's let's um, let's remember that what they were doing was, was treason, and if they would have failed, they would have been beheaded and and chopped up. Remember? Mm-hmm. So." Nicholas Cage, man. Yep, Nicholas Cage as uh, what was the name character? Ben Gates. Ben Gates, as, as Ben what Gates said. Ben G- national Treasure. And, nas- and oh. National Which Treasure. Which is a national treasure. So, if a lot of these American, so called American patriots, understand American history, that's how America started was people of unrest, you know, protesting, fighting the system, you know, fighting the, the system that was ruling them. You know, um, people, when they're pushed, they push, they tend to push back. <clears throat> and a lot of us Americans who have been pushed all this time are now pushing back. Mm-hmm. And now we're considered thugs and, you know, criminals. But he's, that, Rittenhouse is considered a vigilante. What's that? But Rittenhouse is considered a vigilante. Right. And so, again, to my point is, if you're a law-abiding citizen out there, Go get a bulletproof vest. Go get an AR-15. And the next time you go to a protest, bring your gun. But, but I thought you could get arrested like if you had a bulletproof vest. <clears throat> no, it's, no, it's illegal. You can own one. No, you, it's only illegal if you're a felon. Yeah. So a felon can't get shot in the chest, but <laughs> no, everybody else they can. can. Uh, you lost that fucking right. Yeah, you lost yeah, that so right. You gotta yeah. get shot. But unfortunately, just don't go out. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, so to me, again, when they keep talking about this whole patriotism and you know, all this. Again, look at American history. Right. How do you think America started? You know, when he's talking about cancel culture, we canceled out a lot of motherfuckers' can- culture, and the biggest one was probably the Native Americans. You know, and them motherfuckers have yet to get at least one national holiday off with pay. But it was like with Mexicans too, though. My mom and grandma tell me that, that they didn't like them or wouldn't let them speak Spanish, like in certain mm-hmm. parts. Probably, because like my dad said, so... They said people of color, that meant brown people, my mom said, when it said for colored people. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like my dad said, even in Texas, um, you couldn't eat in in restaurants. You'd have to eat outside in the back, mm-hmm. you know? And yeah, Grandpa was from Texas. And they're probably spitting your food too, huh? I don't know, but Grandpa was from Texas, one of the hardest states in the union. Mm-hmm. Basically, they didn't have a welfare system. Fort Worth, Texas. Yep, from Fort Worth, Texas. Hey, hey, Fort Worth, Texas. So, you know, when he came to Minnesota, it was like the streets were paved with gold. They had a welfare system. They were giving people money, giving them vouchers for, for furniture, for food. You know, he was like, what the fuck is this? You know, they didn't have that in Texas. Growing up in Texas in the 30s, the 40s. Rest in peace, Johnny Gomez. Rest in peace, Daddy. When we went there. Then they took us down some like dirt roads to go show us some like little other parts of Fort Worth. You know, like the little towns. They had like tin roofs and yeah, did they? The houses was bad, really bad. I don't like they, 
Like they constructed them out of tin. Right. Like whatever that. Like, <laughs> like a, the shit you saw in the movies? Right. Like a tornado came last year or whatever. The, let's scrap that. Let's get that. Let's get that. <laughs> and they threw it together. And yeah. So. Made it a home. Made it a home. So anyways, um, that that's my um, rant. rant on this whole. I'm sure there'll be more rants to come along. But mm-hmm. for the most part, Richard, I think since we lived through the 80s, we've seen race riots. We've seen. You know, color division, especially with Rodney King. You know, when when they um, when Rodney King exploded, how uh, they pulled Reg- Reginald Denning out of the semi truck and nearly killed him. I remember that one dude that picked up the the cement block oh, and, and cracked, him over, the head with and that cracked him over the head with it. And, yeah, he just stood above and just said, "Bow." And then he did that. Whoa, he did yeah. like that or something. But he, yeah. he busted helicopter the head. flying over, catching all of it. You never saw that? Yeah, I seen it. Oh, yep. Bust him in the head. Yep. So, I think now a lot of civil unrest. Yeah, civil unrest. We've seen a lot of civil unrest. But but you know what I think? But, but I think now it's coming more. But but it's like this because it's okay when the police do it. It it seems like there is no, there's only it seems like a color divide if you're a suspect. If you're like a black officer, they stick with, you know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. minority officer, they stick with what that white cop said. Happen here, right? He's gonna say this is what happened. Oh, okay, because I go against his partner, right? Right, and because it's the police society. Mm-hmm. Whatever you gotta, they are a gang. They are literally the police are a gang with the gun. Mm-hmm. That and the badge. When, when you, when when people say the police are not a gang, then they essentially they have a color. They are a gang. The color is blue. Man, we should get a cop on here. They we are should. A gang. We should, we should reach out to the St. Paul Police Department. Hey, hey, Shout out to the St. Paul oh, that, Police. That guy, that, the officers that drive that uh, bike truck mm-hmm. that I seen over here, was it last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That gives out bikes, you know, fixes oh, bikes. Oh, the helmets and stuff? Yeah, gives out ice cream, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, seemed, he seemed like a pretty cool white dude. Uh, when I spoke to him, um, he had a couple of, like, younger recruits that are joining to Wait, get into the police. Where did you talk to him at? Outside the house. Oh. So... When I went out there and he had like three younger people with him and they were of Asian, you can tell. So when I went out there, I said, so who here is Hmong? And Josh thought that was inappropriate, but... <laughs> <laughs> so which one, which, one you, which one of you fuck is your Hmong? Yeah. Yeah. So I said, who's here Hmong? And then the two dudes said, well, we're Hmong. And then the, the one girl said she was... Um, uh, Burmese. So you just put a divide between them now, huh? No, 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 <laughs> no. Because to, to separate between to, to understand their, <laughs> to understand where they're coming from. So when the two dudes told me they were Hmong, I said, "Well, you getting into this whole police thing isn't that kind of um, um, causing friction? Because in their community, uh, a cop is, is is a bad thing. It's because because back in the eighties, remember Rick, how they the gangs and all that." Um, they used to get raided in Mount Airy. So there was always a bad history between monks and cops. Mm-hmm. So them becoming officers now <clears throat> and their culture is kind of looked at as a bad thing. Oh, you think you're better than me because you're a cop. So you're, you're, you can, you're telling me I, I can't break the law, but you guys break the law yeah. all the time. They kind of give it to each other real. You know, they don't mm-hmm. water it down. So in their culture, that's why it creates a little bad friction. So as I was talking to him, the one girl said she kind of ran into some problems. So that's why she's joining to become a police officer. So I'm like, oh, so you're a girl that's attracted to a um, authority and a father figure. I'm thinking, <laughs> so, <laughs> so obviously there's someone in there. So he said, he said, okay, dad, <laughs> daddy <laughs> issues. Let me go put my uniform on. Huh? <laughs> let, me go, let me go impersonate a police officer. Uh. <laughs> so, um. So after saying that he to him, he fucking puts my St. Paul Patrol fucking hat on and shit. St. <laughs> Paul Patrol. What was that cop show? With, uh, that comedy series. Reno Nine One One. Yeah, Reno Nine One One. Oh, Reno Nine One One. He got with the high water pants. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So then after talking to him, because I'll say, yeah, I remember when you guys came back in '76 uh, and that the first. So they would have been second generation, and the cop, the white dude, comes over and he tries to give his take on mongs and that and. I'm fucking like looking at him and looking at them like, what the fuck, man? This fucking white dude. But I don't know, man. <laughs> what the fuck was the point of the story? I don't know. <laughs> uh, he lost me. 
I just hit me in there. I had to say, like, I had to look at this little cushion. Hey, what were we talking about again? <laughs> we're talking about a horse fly. I was trying to look at him sideways, and if he looked at me, he would be able to tell. I'm saying, hey, so what, what's the point? <laughs> well, the point is, I guess, is that some white cops think they're more knowledgeable about different cultures when they're not. You know what I mean? Like they got a like a like they got a firm grip on. Well, that was, that was a, a a long-winded story to get. Uh, there. I was gonna just say. You could have just said that. Oh well. My I theory think. is buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> what it was? So you lost me. It's buffoonery. That was a buffoonery. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, okay, I just, just give this guy story okay, time he, with Jerry. Hey, even he, he got tired, but he took a piece of his. Behind his neck, and he made a little cushion. And that. You know how they have neck pillows? He got his own little. <laughs> he fucking <laughs> doubled, yeah. he doubled his fucking. You know my dad? He fucking nuzzled in his bird chest. I'm <laughs> 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 comfy. <laughs> oh, he nuzzled in there. Hey, speaking of birds, I, you ever see a squirrel um, attack a bird or eat a bird? No, I've never seen uh, that. Have I, you? Nope. I, yeah, I didn't know that they eat meat until that day. Oh, yeah, he, 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 he said he saw a fucking I had a picture of it a on my phone somewhere. Was this on one of your nature walks? It was over there, right across from St. Stan's Church. He was on right the outside. St. So, Stan's, I just came from church. Oh, you just came from church? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm surprised you didn't burn. Praying so for being, people like you, but... <laughs> um, being I'm Wahoo, surprised you didn't burn in that motherfucker. Being Wahoo Rick was giving up your, your native heritage... heritage Easy for you to go, okay, here's God. That you convert it to, to Christianity? Catholicism, right? He's a Catholic. Catholicism? Yeah. Well, no. No? Yeah? I don't know. You don't know much about what? No. You guys just took me somewhere. Now you're making me think <laughs> of my native hair culture. All I hear is blue music. <laughs> all, all, all I thought about was that. All I hear is hey, the wind. All the, I, the fucking leaves. And that all time. I thought about hey. was that old commercial with the Native American guy and the horse with the pollution. And the one <laughs> he wasn't even Native American. He was a my fucking thing. Italian. While he goes to Fort Snelling and just automatic tears just start coming down. <laughs> He, he hears the battle cry. Everybody let the name Tears Flow. <laughs> he hears the eagle calling. <laughs> no, no. Your, your fucking Native American name is Wahoo. And that's Did you hear his eagle? He said, Kaka. Oh, yeah. Fucking eagle eye. I don't know how to make a fucking eagle sound. <laughs> he said, Kaka. Hey, hey, Crow. Kaka. I'll, I'll put it in post. Kaka. Kaka. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what you call when the food's done. Kaka. Oh, Kaka. All right, Fuck man. You. I think my sugar's going up. I probably <laughs> going tested up. it. Probably. Probably what they. How's your sugar going, man? Oh, uh, not very good. I'm, uh-huh. I'm. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm. I'm. I'm kind of like in the two hundred range. Okay. Speaking of the diabetes, yeah, that's, that's not pretty good. Um, what do you guys or how do you guys like them little trackers you guys wear in the back of your elbow? I like it. It's more convenient. Yeah. I think one day you'll so, be wearing one. So you, so you say the government's watching you, but yet you'll put a tracking device on you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Biotechnology. So you think they can ping you anywhere, GPS and that thing? I think eventually they will one day. You think right now? There's really no, no. plan Jay wearing that. He doesn't control his diabetes. You don't think they can do that? So Not actually, right now. You don't know because what's in that, is, right? Well, this is... I don't only, know. I just click agree. This is only a sensor. So it can read your sugar level from outside well, your skin, well, it but it can't. No, no, there's a needle that goes in. So attached to it is a needle that goes into your skin. So It stays in your skin? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what it does is it, it ta- instead of going through the actual blood glucose, yeah. it takes the sugar that's in the, the fat Four? cells in the, in the skin. Uh-huh. So in the fat, your, your sugar goes from the blood into the fat. So, But it's a, a delay on the sugar. So say my sugar... When I on this reads eighty, but say I haven't eaten in an hour, I don't know how much of the delay is. I think maybe they said like maybe twenty minutes or so. So my sugar could say like if it said eighty, my sugar could say like seventy five or something. Right. If I check through blood, because through the blood you gotta be constant, you gotta be consistent. Yeah, through the blood. Are are you? No, I'm not. No, he's not. I'm not very. I'm not consistent. I don't even the blood. What? So because the blood, it's it's instant um, blood sugar readings. Because so it's the the glucose reading, you know. And through here, there's just a little bit of a delay, but not much. Well, thanks for the info. This guy didn't. He's like, I don't know. The doctor told me put it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, he's not consistent with checking. I'm just not consistent. So, um, Dude, so your really? fucking name is Fructose. 
<laughs> There's your fucking name, Jerry. Fructose. <laughs> Fructose the horse fly. <laughs> Fructose the horse fly. Hey, Richard, I got a question. What do you think about your Minnesota Vikings? There's no preseason. I don't know yet because I don't know who's on the team and who's who's doing what. It's so, how how these, so how can these people do these fantasy footballs when they don't even know who's going to play and who's not? Well, that's the thing, too. There's going to be a lot of money lost gambling-wise Yeah. because you can't do, you know, fantasy leagues. You know, you can't do that. And you can't sell the tickets, you know, on the games. And there's no food vendors. No food so vendors. My thing parking is, lot. So my thing is, unlike the Saints game where there's only 8,000 people in the stand, mm-hmm. you're talking about a stadium with 80,000 people. So, if you can't sell tickets for 80,000 people, and then those food vendor people, you know what I mean? So, those refrigerators and all that beer is just idling. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All that food in those freezers, either they, they, they clear them out or they're not ordering nothing to fill that up. Because they don't know how many people, you know, because even if you get half of 80,000, people in there how many of those people are going to order beer and and food and that they probably donate that that stuff that's going to go bad somewhere mm-hmm. that way they can write that off right you know even so, maybe maybe it'd be alcohol too to donate it to so do you think your vikings are going to participate in the football season uh, i don't know but i know if you keep people away from something for so long and then when they're able to they're all going to go rush into it yeah just like something to cocaine? do right just like crack cocaine? Okay? I don't know. Just like crack cocaine? Okay? I've never done crack. So I don't know. know. That's mm-hmm. another show. We're going to do that at nighttime. <laughs> we'll get little Susie over here and uh, stand around the table. And Just like crack cocaine? Okay? You guys see that video for getting her ass beat? No. Little Susie's all on her face. But... No, man. I don't want to see that. Well, apparently she... Was that on TikTok? No, it was on So TikTok. is that is that like attacking a vulnerable adult or no? That probably oh, would be. feel like a grown-ass person? Because she Apparently she like... robbed somebody, so... Mm. Oh. Or so, so, like, that's what she gets? I mean, if you still still from Kind of like if, if, if you think you can have a wolf as a pet and it fucking fucks you up, that's what you get. Hey, well, yeah, <laughs> great episode. <laughs> well, I think that's kind of different. But, I mean, if, someone stole, but if, if someone stole something from no, you no, no. and you whipped their ass. Getting you know? what you get is the grizzly man going and trying to fucking play and cuddle with these grizzlies. <laughs> That's getting what the fuck you get. And say, but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, bro. And the bear is saying, look, man. Oh, you're so beautiful. Hey, that bear, I'm a grizzly. That bear warned him on multiple occasions on that trip. If you watch the video. I was going to say, in the, <laughs> How does the bear warn you? Well, no, I was going to say. Uh, that, he came by a couple times. I was going to say, in the, in, the, in the movie, they say if you watch it, care, or watch it. He was stalking him. Yeah, the, the bear was actually stalking him. He was. Really? Just waiting for he his moment. Because right he was, I guess if they said, it looks like he was just starving. Like he wasn't getting food. And so he was stalking him, just biding his time. Until he finally said, fuck it. So, I'm finna eat now. So you think the bear waited quietly till they got intimate, him and his girl <clears throat> in the tent? And then he, I think, he well, attacked? There's a, <laughs> well, there's attacked him? Well, there's stories him. of like animals. No, in the tent? Yeah. So the dude was like sleeping? He, he didn't have time yeah, to. So, so was it at night that he got killed or was it during the I morning? I think so because. He didn't so have the, time to take the cap off. So the all, cap you, all you have is for the camera. All, that's oh. why all you hear is audio. So wait, so the bear was coming through and his first reaction was, let me record it? I think I think he, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if he was recording like for the night, you know what I mean? Like just the Just see. the sound but or something? Or? That's what happened. He, the bear attacked so him So did the, the bear tent. like go to his tent and I think just slowly unzipped with that so, nail? Yeah, just slowly unzipped. Well, he went and up. And the guy thought, right? oh shit, my dreams are coming true. And the tent, you go up, right? Yeah. When you leave, yeah. you go down. Yeah. So the bear, so the guy thought, "Oh fuck, man, my dreams are coming true." Here comes that grizzly. And then I think the bear popped his claw and then tapped him on the forehead. Motherfucker, <laughs> 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 man, that to know, like, man, fuck, that's that. <laughs> this fucking bear is gonna eat me. Oh, uh, man, and then they hear that sound. Like, it, oh. how long ago was this? I don't know. Like two thousand. Oh, hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Like so. Oh, that's my friend right there, man. That's the mountain. Fucking, okay. we got another oh. special guest, Mister Meowington. What's up? <clears throat> Yeah, but in the in the video they said apparently the, Rich is a cat guy. The bear was uh the bear was stalking him the whole time. The bear was, and he had a couple times. You think you think, think he the was cat was stalk? Yeah, he, yeah, stalks, he stalks. You think though for him being out there as much as he was with the bears that he would have realized that? Well, he you thought know? that they were gonna do nothing because because he goes out there all the time. Yeah, he thought he imprinted. Man, get that dirty cat off my table, man. Man. 
I mean, what's the cat just said? Man, fuck you. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. 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 <laughs> well, it's 11.35. Okay. Wow. I know my dad's in the attic. All right. Well, hey, um, we have a special guest, Mr. Neowington. We'd like to thank him. Wahoo Richard, we'd like to thank you again. We will have you back again. Yeah, right. man. Thank well, you. Well, uh, Wahoo Richard, he, Richard, he's going on a powwow. Oh, well, you a are? powwow tour. You're oh, going wow. on a powwow tour? Yes, yes. In the upper northern part of Minnesota? Um, North America, the whole North America. The whole North America. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to take Mr. Meowington with you? Uh, he'll probably go halfway through and then jump off and then, and then do his thing. And then do his thing? You guys back up. me back up on yeah. the way back? All right. Most definitely. Most definitely. I like, that. I like that. Again, well, we'd like to thank everyone for tuning in for this insightful buffoonery, which <laughs> uh, was probably all over the board. But again, uh, uh, we'd like to thank you guys again. Today is August 31st. Um, summer is coming to an end. So all you guys, make sure you enjoy it. And other than that, um, I be nice. Um, no civil uprising. Um, let's hope 2020 <laughs> goes into 2021 smoothly. And again, Man, um, he just pissed all over your fucking <laughs> shit. He might spray on your computer, but yeah. he can't because they got his balls off. So, so again, uh, everyone, be safe. Be kind to each other. I, mean, I really don't give a fuck. Be kind and rewind. Be kind and rewind. And try to imprint on someone. <laughs> <laughs> imprint on someone in your life. Imprint this whole imprinting. <laughs> Apparently it's well, Hey, look at You imprinted on that cat. What the nah, fuck? Like, that, that cat just chooses to let me pet him. Because any right. time, he could just go... Yeah, he, he got could. Got hand. He got some sharp fucking claws. Well, All right, everyone. Uh, we're out. Um, okay, we're out, bitches. Are you going to do your clap? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fructose Jerry. What, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you.